Hey gang, back here hanging with Heavy, doing tips and tricks for BoatLoans.com. For all your boating uh, financing needs, go visit BoatLoans.com. Whether refinancing or buying a new boat, visit BoatLoans.com. Alright, we're, uh, we're going to make a high-low uh, fluke rig, summer flounder rig here. Um, you know, you're fishing with kids, they get hung up, you're out fishing in the, uh, on the artificial reefs, you want them to have a good chance to catch something. A high-low rig is a great rig that they can catch. You know, fluke on, but they can also catch some sea bass or something. Give them some action. Gives them one of the best chances. A high low, uh, a high low rig. We're gonna put some a uh, little bit of flash on it. We're gonna put a couple beads. You know, but we're gonna just use a basic high low rig for uh, double hooks. So we're gonna go go to our making our uh, our first dropper loop. You're gonna come in. Want we'll to make sure you leave a longer tag, longer end, so because you're gonna tie a loop down there too. So we're gonna come in. The top one, we'll make a pretty big loop there. It'll give us plenty of room for the next one. And then this will be where we tie our swivel to. So we're going to come in and make our loops. One, our twist. Two, three, four, five. I'll do, I guess that's six. So again, with our dropper loops, you see that? We got our big, our big loop in there. We got all of our twists. Find the middle. Open her up, pinch with your fingernail, find it, open it up. See, now we got that open. That's kind of in the middle. Now we're going to reach through and pull our loop in up from the bottom. I'm going to pinch this down so you can see what you got. I know it's hard to see the monitor sometimes, but you got an even number of twists on both sides. So you're going to pull through your, first we're going to Moisten up our twists a little bit. Pull up. Come in and grab the top of the loop. Kind of looped in. And it's locked. So there you go. So these dropper loops on a standing line will keep your uh, hooks, you know, from tangling up. You know, there's a lot of things out on the markets and you know different arms and hardware and everything. With you know, simple can be very effective, especially with fluke, uh, summer flounder. So now we're going to do our bottom one. Now on our bottom one, we're going to leave it a little bit longer on the bottom, so we got to make a loop out of that. So, you turn, turn in, got your loop pinch down, do that, all right, then we're going to take this tag end, one, two, three, four, six, find your middle, open her up. And we're going to come through here, push it up through, moisten everything, moisten your twist, so oh, lost my loop, pop it back through. Lock them in, and you got your loop. Everything locks down. So you got one loop here. Come on down about a foot. Got another loop. We're going to put a swivel up here, and we're going to make a dropper loop on the bottom. This isn't actually. I'm sorry. It's not a dropper loop. It's just an overhand loop knot. You just pinch it down. Make a loop. Make your loop. Roll it over. Basically, making another loop. Take your top one, your bunny ears, get down through the head, and then just pull it tight. And then you can just slide your dipsy on through there. And take the loop over the top. Trim it back. Got mono flying everywhere. So there's your one for the bottom. Come on down here. Have another one. 
and then where my hand's at, we're going to tie a swivel. Palmer knot, go through the eye of the, uh, the swivel, go back through, double it up. You know what? Didn't leave myself enough tag. Alright, we're going to make it a clinch knot, go through here. Tag goes through, got a loop there, two, one, two, three, four, five twists, you come back down through, go through the loop up by the top of the swivel, I'm going to grab that, let it twist around on itself, I don't know if you can see, see where it twisted around on itself? Get in there, moisten it up, and then just hold everything at the base where you're at. Just pull on the pull on the longer end. Hold on to your swivel. Clinch knot's not a real 100% knot. I think they're in a 75 or 80% knot range. Um, but I, as long as it seats well. I don't, I don't have a lot of problems tying it up to about 60 or 80 pound mono. Uh, there is, you can do a cinch with a lock where it comes back up through the top loop. Uh, we'll go over that at some other time. But right here, we just tied our swivel. So there's a basic, just basic, you go so many different directions. Basic, high, low. Um, with drop, two dropper loops. I mean, with heavier lines, you can make them for deep dropping. You can add more drops. You can make them for cod fishing. You can make them for pollock, you can make them for fluke, sea bass, tog, you name it, and you can use a, a you know double drop dropper loop rig. All right, we're just gonna add a little bit of uh, flash on here. Uh, you know, this is gonna be kind of a uh, using for sea bass or fluke. We got the uh, English style Kaylee hooks. You now they're very popular in our neck of the woods up here in the Northeast for using for fluke. That's about a, a 1-0, 2-0. So what we're going to do, pinch our loop down, make sure you know it's it's in the middle so that both, both strands are the same length. Kind of pinch it down. And what we're going to do first is we're going to add a colored bead. We're going to add a colored red bead first. It's going to go through the hole in the bead. that the red bead pushes on it push it down all right your swivels up here you want to make sure that your hook when it when it's seated the hook is facing up not upside down you don't want it to be facing upside down when a fish grabs it so you're going to push it in to the eye of the hook and then come out Bring the bend of the hook back down through, lock it in, slide the bead down, and there you go. Do the same thing with the other one. I use the same color bead, red beads, I, I don't know why, but it always seems to be better luck with some with red beads. Push it through. There it is. Point of the hook would be facing up. And pinch it down. Drop the bend of the hook through. Slide the bead down. And there you go. Alright, high low rig, fluke, fluke and sea bass fishing around the reefs. So another tip and trick from Hanging With Heavy, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your boat financing needs, go to BoatLoans.com. Uh, they're a great supporter of, of me and this program. And, uh, you know, check them out. They got really great rates. But uh, BoatLoans.com. Thank you and have a great day.